And by one estimate, restaurants in the U.S. have lost a combined $80 billion during the shutdown. Eight million employees are out of work. But some restaurant owners are turning back the clock to stay open and stay safe. Carter Evans checks out this new normal. At Bob's Big Boy in Burbank, operations manager Darren Utley says customers these days would rather social distance in their car. So he brought back the car hop. When I was a kid, that was the only way we used to do it. It's nostalgic. It allows them to have the kind of protection of their car and be in their own environment. The challenge will be keeping customers six feet apart when the dining room reopens. We went through and made sure there were no tables across from each other or next adjacent to each other. But that's virtually impossible to do at this tiny steakhouse across town. How are you going to social distance in here? That's a very good question. I don't know. Dear John's owner, Patty Rockenwagner. Even if you cut down the number of seats by half, they don't cut the price of steak by half. They don't cut your rent by half. If you can't pack your restaurant to capacity, I mean, it's a for disaster. But for now, she may have cooked up a recipe for success. We started um, doing TV dinners. The ultimate comfort food. They look awesome, you guys. They make them every day and sell out every night. It's nostalgic, it's old school, it's a little more gourmet. Most restaurants are improvising, says Michael Grayeski, co-owner at Lobster and Beer, two things not usually associated with takeout. What does a new normal look like for you in here? I'm trying to find ways to get people to, to come through the door. Or at least into the parking lot. Carter Evans, CBS News, Los Angeles.